Volunteers. I'm so excited to be back with you again to show you another important kindergarten skill. So we practiced cutting before, but now we need to practice gluing because if we're cutting up little things, we need to be able to attach them. So today I'm going to show you how to use both of our types of glue, our liquid glue and our glue sticks. So to start, I'm going to show you the liquid glue because this one is pretty tricky. Okay. So you want to twist it open so that you can use it. Now, it is very important that you only use a little. So I have a special saying that I tell my Rocketeers, and that is dot, dot, not a lot. Say it with me, dot, dot, not a lot. Good, let's do it one more time so you remember it really well. Ready? Dot, dot, not a lot. Good. So what does that mean? Dot, dot, not a lot. Should I squeeze my glue bottle and let it drip all over the place? No. Should I hold it right here and squeeze it out so I get a big old puddle? No. I want to make just a little dot on my paper. So let me show you. Just like that. I did one little dot. Dot, dot, not a lot. Okay, so I'm going to practice a couple more so you can see. There we go. Let's see if I can do it with it up in the air. Dot, dot, not a lot. There we go. So notice, I am not squeezing it and letting it get all over the place with a big old puddle like that. Is that a little dot? Oh, it's already dripping. No, that's not a little dot. I want a little dot. So the very first thing I have for you to practice is a special worksheet. And on the top, it reminds us what we say. But can you remind me, what do we say when we're using our glue bottle? Dot, dot, not a lot. Good, so I made little dots inside our glue bottles. And I want you to practice putting just a little dot, okay? So if I was starting at the very top, I would put one little dot there. Then I would put one, two dots on my next bottle. Dot, dot, not a lot. Then I'm gonna go to my next one, which has one, two, three dots. So I'm going to go dot, dot, not a lot. Good job. And I want you to finish and make all the dots filled up with glue. Okay, so that's your first thing I want you to practice with. Then I have something super fun for you to work on. Now, I have got a piece of paper and I put my name on the paper. If you know how to write your name, I want you to write it on your paper. But if you need some help, you can always ask mom or dad or brother or sister or auntie or grandma or anybody to help you. So my name's Miss De La Rosa. So I put Rosa. Okay, so now that I have my line, I'm going to put all my little papers 
along my name, okay? So if I was using my glue dot, my liquid glue, I would put one little dot on my paper and then I would put it on my name. But I'm gonna show you how to do your glue stick also. So now for glue sticks, it is very important that we do not crank it all the way up. I don't need to see all the glue sticking up. It does not work better to have all the glue sticking up, okay? So as you can see, I have just a little tiny bit sticking up and that's good enough. All I need is a little tiny bit. So I have my glue. I'm gonna put one little line across it. I'm gonna stick it on my name. Take my next one, put one little line across it, put it on my name, and I'm gonna keep going until I have made my whole name. Now, do you see Miss De La Rosa scribbling it all over the paper? No, just like with our liquid glue, glue sticks, they work very well, so we just need a little bit. So I put just one little line and then I put it on my big paper, okay? Just one little line and then I can stick it down and I'm gonna keep going. But maybe I wanna switch back to my regular glue. Remind me, how do I do my liquid glue? Dot, dot, not a lot. So I'm gonna put one little tiny dot on my paper and then stick it down on my name. Ooh, I almost finished my R. There we go. So I want you to keep working and finish your whole name. See you later.